Here's a picture of the same device on March 1, 2009. It's got a heavier weight attached. This weight we've actually tested with a generator, and you will see in a minute that it moves up and down just like the earlier weights did with the power of the waves. Okay, here's another view of the same thing moving, just so you get the full picture here. There's our cable, and there's our weight. Now, it was moving a lot more. But the tide is going down, which means that a portion of that barrel out there, you can see a barrel out in the ocean. And that barrel, when it was submerged completely, had more lift. But since the tide is coming down now, this thing doesn't have as much lift as it did. But this is, this is 170 pounds, and it's, again, a very, very calm sea. And yet this is moving up and down. It's not often. See, there you go. And nobody's touching this thing. It's all being done by the power of the ocean. There's some tourists walking underneath our wire. And there we go up again. We got a, almost a meter of movement there. And out in the ocean, we're moving about 300 pounds up and down. This is another view of the, of the same device. You see a little more movement this time. We've taken several shots at different angles. Not all of them are going to be showing you much different from the first one, but this is just to, to verify what we were doing. We're on Rome Island, about six kilometers off of Conakry in Guinea, West Africa. Here's another shot of it. Moving a little better now. Because I don't know why, but with tides are going out, I guess it's moving a little better. It'll come down in a minute. There we go. It's just not enough to turn that generator yet, but again, it's the principle. And here's the wire. And there's the, the sea out there. The waves are actually a little bigger, closer to shore than where the, the barrel is, but I can't bring it in that close.